So how are you all feeling this morning? How are you feeling, man? Like in my air. <laughs> like in my air. A little bit of a walk going on, you <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Things are going it's on well, me. yeah. Loving this. Would it make Maybe me faster if I left my helmet on? <laughs> Go faster. <laughs> Just kept, kept me upright, like, you know what I mean? Hey, Mark. Cameron Diaz and him, something about Mary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I slept with Phil last night. Oh, yeah. That explains a lot. How do you feel this morning? I like that. Surprising. Looking forward to getting back on the bike, to be honest. Looking forward to getting over. Well, it. Well, it was well. an <laughs> getting home and having a pint. Yeah, pint. Yeah, yeah. Well. That in the local. Knee is stiff as f this morning. Chris, I can stick my beard. Nobody I can say, if you need another beard, some like uh, and for <laughs> yeah. I can probably get somebody down to do it. Stiff now, I will be honest. Second. There's the medic. Say hello, medic. Hello. Hello, medic. Hello. Okay, let's get this stuff out of the van then. How do we get on, man? All right? Yeah, easy. Yeah. Definitely, if you haven't done the day before, it's like yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chris? All right? Yeah, thanks. Open up, okay? Oh, that's yeah. good news. That's good. Did you do the boys all right? Oh, okay. It's the gooch, it's the bit between the balls and the arse. If I can find the sweet spot back on this again, I'd be alright. Just don't turn out to be Buster Gonad again. Well, no, all, all i got to do is try not to stand up. Because every time I stand up, I lose the sweet spot. And that's oh, it. No, no, stand up. No, 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 no. Start standing up. Stand there, absolutely. <laughs> well, it is. Well, that's that's exactly what I'm going to do. But then From that point on, when we hit the top of Kleinwood, I'm standing up all the way. I love it. Oh, it is great going down Kleinwood. That's how it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's a nice. So 360 next. Well, we'll have a window with, uh, with Rich and see what he wants to do. Well, you stop him. Oh, you need any f***ing thing. I used to stop him both. 
Hey boys and girls. Got it, Andrew, we're gonna do your way for the opponent. Yeah, no, right. Alright guys, alright, to the right. Yeah, feeling good. Any now. problems? Yeah. Andrew UK. What have we got? We've got it. What have we got to say for all the doubters? Come on, yeah. Come on, you're back here, don't swans you. Coming from yeah. the bar, yeah. yeah. That's what you eat the bag of book, is it? Yeah. I mean, all this hard work, are you going to risk food poisoning and all? <laughs> Tom, are you okay, mate? You're bearing up? Doing well. We we we, we went to route that um, well we didn't think we were going on and there was hills. I felt like I, I got to Amroth yesterday and I said if I see one more hill I think I'm gonna cry. So did anyone have a pint last night? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we did it. Uh, got back just about in one piece. It was 170 plus miles in the end because we managed to take an 18 mile wrong turning up and down some of the f***ing steepest hills I've ever seen. Uh, the first 50 odd miles yesterday were quite easy. We were about half hour to 45 minutes in front of ourselves. But then the last 30 from Carmarthen to Tembe were savage. Nothing but hills. And I'm talking hills. I'm not talking little humps. I'm talking hills. San Francisco hills? The worse than San Francisco hills. Yeah, so like I said, the first 50 miles took us four and a bit hours. And the last 30 took us six and a bit. So that's how f***ing hilly it was. Today was a bit easier because it started off all downhill. Well, most of it was all downhill on the way back. So I shaved off a sh load of time. Yeah, my knee went t up in Swansea. It was um, really, really painful then for the next 100 and whatever, was it 50 odd miles, 160 odd miles. Pretty much did on one leg. So I've been living on anti-inflammatories and painkillers for the last 24 hours. Yeah, so this is the last vlog. You can still donate to us. And for all you doubters, that's what I think of you.
We did it. Don't know how we did it, but we did it. So yeah, please keep your donations and sponsorship coming in. You can still donate to us on Intravellas. And you can still use the website. I think it's open for another four to five weeks. Can't really remember what date it is shutting down. I'll put it in the description when I find out. And yeah, that is it. No more cycling for me. Not for a long, long, long time. So this is the last one. We did it. It was horrible. <laughs> Everything. Uh, I don't know what was the hardest, the mental or the physical. I am happy not to see another country road ever again. I'm happy never to see another hill. Even in Bristol, that's going to be quite hard. Um, I've had a few days to recuperate. This, the first day was fine. I just had aching legs, but Sunday I literally got <coughs> work. and that's because I walked to my friends on Saturday and I didn't have. It was too much. Uh, but a few days rest in recuperation, I think I will be all right. Keep your donations coming in, and uh, thanks to everyone who helped out. We couldn't have done it without you. I'd like to give special thanks to Mark for pretty much doing it all. He's done a real, real good thing. Um, and my mum and Andy and Tom and Richard and everyone else who was part of it. I'd like to thank you for being part of the journey, but never again. <laughs> thanks. Well, here we are. It's the last um, entrance to the vlog. We're uh, back home safe and sound. Uh, to say it was easy would be a real understatement. It was uh, very, very hard, some tough roads. But i got to be honest, I enjoyed it. I think it tested all of us. Um, the support we've had since we come back has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, so thank you very much for that, everybody. Um, as you can see, I've got to black my uh, sports logo out on my top because I believe Mark is currently in, uh, in a deal to get us some uh, proper sponsorship for uh, the rerun next year. Um, I'd like to thank Mark, Phil, Christy, um, great companions on the ride, absolutely fantastic. Um, couldn't have wished to do it to better guys. And our support team as well, Richard, Sean, Darren, um, Andrew and Tracy. So thank you very much. Please remember, um, keep the money rolling in. Thank you very, very much. Well, we did it. Um, a lot of people didn't think we would, so we've proved you all wrong. So, haha. -ha. Uh, big well done and thanks to Mark, Andrew and Christy and Tom who did quite a lot of the riding on the second leg. Uh, also I want to say a big thank you to Richard, Darren, Sean, Tracy and Andy in the support vehicles. Uh, without them we probably would have done it but we had less food on the way. But the main thanks will go and will go to you lot who have donated and a bigger thank you. To the ones who will donate don't forget you can still donate via the my donate site and you can still pop in to travel as i'll come and see us all personally so yeah so if i'm stupid enough to do it again next year which i got a funny feeling that i am um might see you next year uh thank you very much for watching the videos for liking it for following everything that we've done so far and once again, thank you very, very much from all of us for donating and the full support. So it's been a couple of days now since uh, we got home from the ride. Didn't suffer as bad as I thought I was going to. i got a few people to thank for doing various things. Uh, first of all, my fellow riders. Christy, Phil and Andrew. You were superb all of you, fair play. Not sure how much money all four of us have raised yet. Um, I'll let you know it on Facebook or something. When we finally get all the totals in. Secondly, I'd like to thank uh, our support team for the days. In one van we had uh, Richard, Darren and Sean. Sean with the medic skills. Patched us up more than once on the run. Fair play to it. And in the second van we had Tracy and Andrew. Big thanks to them too. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, Phil and Sean Williams from David Menswear. They joined us for part of the ride. They cycled from St. Clair's down as far as Burryport. It was nice to have some extra bodies with us. And also Jason Pierce for giving us all the nutrition advice. Cheers boys and girls, you've done as well.
Actually, I forgot to thank Tom as well. He was in one of the vans and he uh, joined us on the ride for the second day. Took the glory run, fair play to him. And uh, lastly, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching these vlogs and donating your hard earned money. It's, uh, it's been an experience. Would I do it again? Maybe. Uh, it's a real tough one, that is. I had fun doing it. And I also didn't have fun doing it. There were some bits where I just wanted to throw in the towel. I'm sure the others would say the same. It was emotional. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Follow the links in the description. Uh, you pretty much know all that by now. Uh, and I won't see you again next week because this is it. Ta da. <laughs> it's a stupid time to be awake for any time. For any time? Okay, well, what's the filming then? Oh, you won't film it. There we are. No. Rookie mistake. New camera. <laughs> New camera, old camera, man. <laughs> Go on, see it again. What's the filming, apparently? Was it? No. no. We are all, all going to die. I hope we don't. <laughs> I hope we don't, but i got a funny feeling that we might. I'm going to stop filming now, bloody hell. Half an hour, let's get it. <laughs> the rest of the Garwin Trust riders coming into Almroth on the journey to Tenby. <laughs> I missed them. That wasn't even it. That wasn't. That wasn't him. Is that my new bag? My bell back now. Mr. Bell Ends away. Right, I must have used it. For your bell end or your bell? Zach, have we got to have a p by the end? I'm trying to talk, man.